Hi, my name is Stephen Talbot, and uh, today I thought that I would answer the question of uh, someone on a video that I did a while back about Splitwise, which is a uh, an online platform that you can use to share your bills, uh, IOUs, and manage your expenses for your household, um, and it works very, very well. <clears throat> In fact, it's the best one that I've tried, and I've, I've tried over a dozen of them. Um, so. This question comes from Ivy, and Ivy says, Hi, how do I make a payment show up under the expense? I have the free version of Splitwise. So I'm just going to pop on over to Splitwise. Okay, so there are, uh, essentially there are a couple of different ways that you can um, mark that someone's paid you. <coughs> um, the first way, I guess it, it really depends on your, your situation. Um, in my case, my roommates always uh, allowed money to accumulate. Uh, in fact, so much so that I probably never see uh, any of the money that anybody owes me. But um, so, if, if that's the case, and they run it, they run it. They have a running total. Then it, the, probably the best way to record a payment <clears throat> would be just to do it as a settle up. So you would just click on settle up. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily tie it to a specific bill. Because when they owe you a larger sum of money, it doesn't really matter what bill it's for. You know, at that point, they just need to continue to pay you until hopefully they pay you off. So you just click settle up to do it this way. You click on record uh, cash payment. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You put in the amount of the payment. Uh, you can put in any notes, images, or whatever <clears throat> to help you remember in the future what it was for. Uh, and then you simply click on add. Now, when you click on add, what that will do is all of these areas where you see the little uh, dollar signs. Here's one right here. Chrissy paid Stephen $240. Uh, when you record a cash settlement, that's where these will appear. And although it may appear as though this particular payment was a result of some bill uh, above it, that's actually not the case. It just means that this was inputted on the same date um, as, as this bill was input. Um, so they only show the dates once. Now, <clears throat> there is a way to make the payment show up underneath the bill, and uh, I will show you that now. So let's say that um, you have the electric bill here, and let's say that Chrissy comes and she says, you know, here's fifty dollars towards the electric bill. So you need to log that. So basically, all you do, uh, and actually, I'm gonna, uh, I, I did this before because this is the second time that I tried to uh, record this video. So I'm actually going to uh, undo what I did earlier. <clears throat> okay, so just scratch that last little part. Uh, this is how it was before. So let's say Chrissy comes to you. Uh, she wants to pay on the electric bill. As you can see, the electric bill is two hundred and fifty-seven. Oops, two hundred and fifty-seven dollars. Um, so let's you go in here and click on Edit Bill. Uh, you can see before it was 257. I said it was paid for by me because I paid the bill and it was split equally. Um, and it was split equally between Chrissy and myself. So now, Chrissy, it says here that uh, Chrissy owes me $257. So basically, all you do is you come in, you click on where it says paid by, you can click on the U. Uh, yes, it was multiple people. And if she paid up everything like she was supposed to, you can simply click on this button and it will automatically split it between how many other people you have there. Uh, but in the case where she only pays $57, that whatever amounts that you enter over here have to equal the total amount that's actually due on the bill. So if she gave me $50, that would have left me paying $207. And we'll go ahead and put her $50 in here. Uh, and then if you wanted to, you could add a note. Uh, and then you cl uh, simply click on Save Changes. And then now... Uh, you don't really see anything different. Um, so in order to see that payment, you just have to click on it. And then now you'll see down here at the bottom, it says Stephen paid 207 and owes 128.50. Chrissy paid 50 and owes 128.50. So that, those are the two ways that you can, uh, that you can log, uh, log bills. And also, depending on how you do it, it's also going to determine how these show up on the different reporting uh, aspects. So I just clicked on the reporting for this last month. And here it says, uh, so basically it takes it from a cumulative amount. So April 15th, electric bill was $257. Um, I was owed six or six ninety seven eighty five, And so it just try, you know, it tries to zero everything out, but obviously she's still owed. Uh, I was owed eight twenty nine fifty, and Chrissy's the person that owes it to me. But it breaks it down, <clears throat> uh, you know, for each person as well. 
Um, and and I'll, I may do another video about, uh, about the reporting. But my point is that depending on whether you do it as a cash settlement, um, which would only reflect in the total amount of money they owed, it wouldn't break it down <clears throat> or show you the notes. Um, so if you want it to show up in reporting, then the, the best thing to do would be to record it um, this way by going in and, and changing it. Now, the only downside to doing it that way would be this bill was uh, due on April the 15th. So it's now September the 26th as I'm recording this video. So if she just now gave me $50 and it was supposed to apply towards this bill, then it's actually going to show that this was taken care of in April, I believe. Let me make sure. Yeah. <clears throat> See, this report is from April. So it shows in April. So if, uh, if we, you know, if we had anything in here in September, it's not going to show that uh, in September because that's not when the bill was paid. So it's up to you. Um, you can either do cash settlements or add notes with the date and, you know, have the dates. And uh, Splitwise is actually really good about uh, recording just about everything. So you could always come back in here and, and find it. Um, so I, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And uh, I'll be happy to uh, help out however I can. Thanks. And you guys have a great uh, weekend.